Hello, my name is Andreas. I work as a professional producer, social media consultant, and now I also help to make cryptocurrency traders' lives easier. This is the second installment of my tricks and tips on how to use Coinergy more effectively. In the first part, I'd like to focus on alerts. Alerts are a really powerful thing and I really like to use them but as opposed to the trading window. When you type something into the box, you get something to move around on the chart immediately. But when you're on the alerts tab and you type something in, nothing happens. So here are a couple of tricks. Uh, first of all, personally, I'm not a huge fan of this entire huge long collection of seemingly funny and not very useful sounds like the ones that are on point and short but are really different right and so i always use this one here which is called beeps i like beeps because it is relatively short it's still an alarm sound basically and it's different very different from the sound you hear when you buy something, right? So um, let me just remove everything here and switch back to the defaults. So here's the trick that I'm using most of the time. So as I just mentioned, when you type something into this text field, nothing appears on the chart. But when you press the tab key, uh, your keyboard uh, focus basically is on this pop-up box. And so when you type, or, or when I type now, B-E-E, -E, you, hear, you hear the alert sound now, right? So we've basically managed to uh, access these two text fields relatively easy. And so the next thing that I typically do is just I press last, ask, or bit, and then I get something to move around on the chart and then I just add the alert and I'm done, right? So this is the first thing that you can do. Now, if you're not into using the keyboard much, which I can totally understand, here's another trick. You can just reset the form and look at that. You get something to move around immediately. Why don't they do that here? Now, of course, you can still use the text box and then the tab uh, shortcut that I just showed, so tab, B -E -E. and now you can add the, the alert. Wonderful. So here's the, the other thing that you can do. Uh, when you go to the data tab, you can see all the trades that are currently going on and you can basically see all the volume that are set uh, for each price point. What a lot of people don't notice is that up here you have an options box and it's here it says clicking places, clicking places an alert or an order. Huh, let's try it. Look at that. So it jumps straight to the price. You get something to move around. It doesn't add a note and it doesn't set an alert for you. But it still does all that, right? Now, of course, if you set this the place in order instead, you can also just sell or buy something, right? So this is really cool and it makes setting alerts much more easy. One thing to consider is uh, when you're in the alert tab and you want to get rid of uh, your alerts, please view uh, the all markets list and here you can see all the alerts that you've created on Coinergy. Now, if you want to use uh, the market that is selected at the moment only, uh, also make sure to switch to all exchanges as well, of course. Another thing, obviously, is you can use these buttons here, but I really haven't found a use for them. Uh, these are rather useless. Last but not least, the last trick to add alerts is you can also click the add alert button up here and there you also get the thing to move around 
no node, no default sound. Right now you can't actually set a default sound, um, but as you and I want this feature, be my guest and submit the ticket that you want that. Just tell them and they may start working on it. Another thing that you probably should uh, know is that when you add new drawings, as they are called on TradingView, to a chart, they are not saved on Coinergy directly, as are your defaults and your indicators that appear on the chart. But here's the trick. When you load the page, just briefly after the page has finished loading, you're going to see a restore from autosave down in the bottom left. When you see that thing, click it. And then all your charts, all your drawings are back as they were before. The downside is when you wait too long and reload the page again, um, and this uh, restore from autosave thing appears, sometimes your drawings are just gone. And so that's a not optimal solution, but it's better than uh, just wait out and redraw everything, right? So um, that's the trick you can use for drawings and indicators. Another thing that you can do for the chart uh, layout, as it's called on TradingView, as it relates to the indicators and as I just mentioned, before you close the Coinergy tab, press the Save New Chart Layout button and then you can basically save this chart layout to their cloud. And once you reload the page, just reload from the cloud and you're good to go. Um, I'm not doing this particular thing because when I found out that I can just restore from the autosave, that saved my bacon quite a few times. What I also figured out relatively late is how to use the favorites feature on Coinergy. Because I just didn't see that to add something as a favorite, you need to click up there. And to view your favorites, you need to click up here. And so that didn't make a whole lot of sense. Also, I just, sorry, I just didn't see that thing here. So the way to add something as a favorite, click there. It says, now it's added as a favorite. When it's added as a favorite, you can click here to show and hide your favorites list. When you do that, <laughs> when you do that, this list now should also list uh, Ethereum Classic. It doesn't at the moment, but it will after a while. Now here's a cool thing, um, if you know coin tracking, uh, you know that coin tracking is a really, really great uh, app to basically not only view your progress and how your account is divided into all the various uh, coins, but it's also it, it can also be used to generate a tax report, which you probably want to do at one point or another. Now, there's a seemingly similar feature here on Coinergy as well. You can find it up here in the Balances tab. But the downside right now is that it doesn't actually view... Um, it has a nice display. I give it that. But the problem is you can't actually use this uh, feature to actually generate a tax report, for example. And so you're still better off with using coin tracking for this particular thing. Now, there are a couple of options here. Uh, just have a look through them. I find this really useful from time to time, but I have to say I prefer coin tracking at this point. Back now here on the chart view, another thing that you might have missed or have, a look, have looked at is the balances here. Now the balances view displays all the coins that, that you're holding at this point, uh, but you can also look at the orders up here. And here you can basically see all the open orders, uh, the order history. And I find these two really useful, but 
they are much more useful on the chart as well because using uh, the order history now this doesn't work for ethereum classic because i just don't trade ethereum classic let me show you on a coin that i actually use so just double click this here now that the text is selected and you can paste it right here or here <laughs> and you can really really easily reuse your old entries and exits so to sum up this video i want to uh, tell you about poloniex analyzer as i've told you in my last videos i'm using this to basically get a feel or a number for my trading performance and um, so this uh, used to have a really big bug which uh, kept it from working with uh, delisted coins but this has now been fixed the project is now also on python uh, 3 and so feel free to update it should be working now again and i really love poloniex analyzer but there's also a new app and if you're not into using the command line i think you are really gonna like this so the other thing uh, is called poloniex ninja <laughs> Poloniex Ninja is a Chrome extension. Chrome extensions are much easier to use and what this extension does, it adds a couple of new columns to your Poloniex uh, deposits and withdrawals menu. Let me show you. Now here you can see that this adds a couple of really useful uh, columns here to the deposits and withdrawals menu. Uh, it tells you the average buy price, which you can quickly use to get a feeling if you are in plus or in minus, but it also tells you the change as well. So here you can see that my bacon is 100% plus and my Digibyte is 130% plus, right? And I like those numbers. So I really find this useful to have these numbers right here. And so basically you just add the Chrome extensions to your Chrome and there's now a new feature. Uh, you now have settings because I found it uh, not as useful to have the USD value here uh, shown here because I trade in Bitcoin only. And so we now have the option to remove columns here as well. So thanks. So I mentioned here as well. I didn't see that. Um, so this is a really good um, extension as well to make your life on Poloniex a little bit easier. Last words, if you are someone like me who uh, teaches people how to trade cryptocurrencies, and by the way, check out my course, uh, Trading Cryptocurrencies. Here I show you in uh, six chapters or five chapters, uh, going from the beginner steps to intermediate steps and more advanced steps on strategies and things you can do to increase your uh, trading success. Right now, I would appreciate if you'd use my referral link and also a link to my course. Um, right now, you don't get any benefit from using it though. And so I hope that Coinergy will be working on improving this referral program so that if you use my referral link, I'm not the only one benefiting from it. If you'd like to see this sooner rather than later, another tip here, submit the ticket. Because we all want to see that, of course. I also want to see you succeed. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please join our community on Facebook. Until next time, take care. Bye.